Hello my brothers and sisters! Now, welcome back to The Order, I am Celtic Templar and for this review video we are actually going to be talking about the bassinet that I'm wearing. As you can see I'm mostly decked out in my upper plate armor for this and no I am not getting into the full plate armor for just to put on this stinking helmet. Uh, now this is actually the open visored bassinet. This is from Lords of Battles which I love this group. Now, uh, this uh, is known as this is the Bassinet Helm, don't know why, but I do know that its characteristics are around the front to back is around 8.5 inches and side by side is around 8 inches. Its inner circumference is around 25 inches, I believe it was. Now, it's made out of 16 gauge steel and it weighs around 4 pounds and 5.3 ounces. So, yeah. Uh, let me get this gear off first. All right, now that I'm out of the gear, uh, let's actually talk more about this helmet. Now, I got this from Cult of Athena, and when I bought this, I looked at the images of it and it didn't look good. That's because it wasn't uh, fully done right, because if any of y'all know anything about uh, the armor to look historically accurate and such, uh, you gotta make it look the part. And for one, the male Aventail was missing from our character, which... Yeah, it was kind of a big disappointment on uh, the imagery, so yeah. <laughs> but this uh, Aventail, as you see here, this I had to buy separately. This came from uh, the Lords of Battles bassinet, which if none of y'all remember, I am technically using as a uh, testing helmet, and this is 14 gauge steel, and this mail actually does provide really good. It's riveted mail, which this is really good riveted links if you think about it. Now though, uh, why don't we get back to the helmet. Uh, now, in true, when buying this helmet, this I thought looked perfect and it is. In fact, when I started to put it on, it was definitely awesome. Now, you do have to wear an army cap in this. Problem is, due to its size variety, I would be careful when uh, choosing a uh, arming cap. Because the army cap I'm using is from Lords of Battles as well. And it's not as thick as some of the uh, HEMA type. Uh, I think it's called HEMA. Yeah. Anyways, uh, HEMA, if not you understand, these guys are gla medieval gladiators. And these guys wear thickened uh, army caps. Think about yay thick. Comparing that to an army cap, that's only like half that. So, yeah. Now, uh... Upon wearing this, this is a really good open visored helm. Now, maybe I hear many already. Templar, why did you get an open visored helm? Well, kind of obvious. I'm an open visored helm guy. I'm not much of a uh, closed bassinet guy. I don't know why. In fact, the bassinet is probably one of the most coolest medieval helmets uh, that we could ever see in history. In fact, let me just take this off first, because this thing is kind of digging into me a little bit, because I put it on a little wrong. <laughs> okay, now. Upon more description about this type of helmet, uh, as I said, I had to get the mail in true uh, separately, and as well also with the arming cap separately, which this is the arming cap. Now, I hear many of you are Templar, that doesn't look like a good arming cap. Well, actually, this thing has already so much uh, padding in here, it's probably not even going to be uh, pretty much needed, except for historical accuracy. Now, if y'all want to add um, some arming doublet, somewhere underneath this, you can be my guest, because in truth, you could probably much uh, just do this the way any type of way you want. Now though, uh, as I said in one of my other videos, I was going to, I accidentally uh, gave it away, the uh, description of what the, the next, one of the next videos would be, and well I have, and that would be this. In fact, uh, if we all don't know anything about the open visor bassinet, these type of bassinets were mainly used in the early times of the very late medieval period. Now, uh, if now you all understand the difference between the late and uh, very early late medieval period and the very late high medieval period, uh, just take a look at the 1200s and the 1300s and take a look in between. Because in truth, that's actually where the two come and meet. Now, in truth, if we take a look at the Battle of Bannockburn, something like this would have been seen, as well at the Battle of, even I'm going to say, Visby, 
in fact, and as well there is even be also the Battle of Agincourt, that of which would have seen his helmet. In fact, when the bassinets started to come around, actually, they were mostly first uh, open helmet design. In other words, mainly meant for archers. And in fact, archers love these because this way, when they pulled back their arrow, guess what? The uh, Their bowstring wouldn't actually get caught on their helmets. Especially that being of, uh, say, a kettle helm, which if none of you don't understand, kettle helms, uh, these do their wide brim design, were first somewhat used by uh, the said uh, archers, but they then got rid of them, and as well, sometimes they'd rather go on for a secret helm. If none of you don't know what a secret helm is, secret helms have, are mainly used underneath male coifs, so yeah. Now, however, that's actually what evolved into this, and as well, these helmets are known to deflect uh, certain weapons, and due to the fact, also, if you climb up a ladder, guess what? You're technically going to see this coming up, and it's just going to deflect, well, anything. Problem is, the open, this, not so much. But that's where later on visored bassinets come around. Now, I was wanting to get the uh, combat model like this. Problem is, they ran out, which I'm kind of disappointed because this model I love. I don't know why. This is the only bassinet I love other than the dog face. Yes, the dog face bassinet is my favorite design because that is this beautiful. However, there are many terms for it, but I just love that pointed design with that bassinet look and the male Avondale. you got to admit, that is beautiful right there. In fact, uh, now I have been a sucker for the bassinet since I was a kid because... When, every time when I think of an medieval knight, I always thought of the bassinet rather than any other helmet. I don't know why, uh, because when it came to the late medieval period, such as the plate armor knight, during the 14th century, for example, and of which 14th century armor, if no you understand, the full plate design, uh, during that timeline, we would have mostly seen bassinet helms rather than salats or uh, even barboots, which barboots were mostly an Italian style of helmet. However, that's a major difference. Now, as you all know and understand, I'm mostly, when it comes to 13th century style plate armor, I'm mostly into western style, such as that would have been seen in England or in France. However, but I'm mostly into the high medieval period design plate, as now you all remember. But still, these helmets were Perfect in design, and the thing is, this is a really good design. Now, I had to use some spare leather in order to uh, put the cords through. I'm still working on it, but yeah. Now, if we actually remember from the Outlaw King, which is a good discrepancy, discrepancy of a plate armored design I love, uh, bassinet and great other coat of plates would work perfect with this, which is why I added this. Now, I was wanting to add some. Uh, Padded padding for this, but the problem is I'm gonna have to get something to sew it on to make it work a little bit better. But still, man, this is actually surprisingly heavy because, as I said, this layer weighs around four pounds and 5.3 ounces, which is that's a lot, actually. Now, in truth, uh, I actually bought at least more than one helmet from last year. But I'm not going to describe on what it is yet, because I do have it in the room, but I can't describe what it is yet, so sorry. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Now, in truth, the design... Now, I don't know why. I'm always a fan of these two, but when it comes to other bassinet helmets, uh, they're just a little ugly for me. I don't know why. Other than the open-faced visor, which, you here's the thing. Major reasons why uh, foot soldiers actually... In fact, this is something... I had to describe out for y'all. Uh, early bassinets did, for example, mainly like this, they were used by foot soldiers, were open visored. In other words, there was no visor at all. In fact, these were just an open face design. So that way, they could see entire region on the battlefield. However, it was only by the time of the medieval time, sometime after the, uh, some say, like after Bannockburn or something like that, when the visor started to come out, uh, the visor like that would mostly have been used by medieval knights. However, knights would only do that especially when they were charging on horseback. So, yeah. Now, upon putting this on, uh, it's technically a tight little fit in here. But, yeah. 
Now, it also has these uh, buckles right here, which are really good. They have a historical design so on, on them, so yeah. However, this thing is so heavy, I don't know if you'll be able to take, technically be losing it in the first place, especially if you're wearing an army cap. Now though, uh, I do have to describe though, due to the fact my head is technically up to about here, it does have a little bit more of an air pocket right here, especially if someone comes down with a design blow onto my skull. So, this is pretty much a good helmet. It has a good open eye. Uh, now, in true, I can actually see to my left and right pretty well. Up, yes, and down, so this is perfect. Because, in truth, as y'all can see, I can easily just see where y'all are from the camera area. Because that's as, actually as far as my eyes will go. So, yeah. Now, uh, I hear many of you already. So, Paul, couldn't you also uh, have just custom bought this somewhere? Yes, problem is there was none of them that I liked, which was a big problem. In fact, they didn't actually have any of the models I preferred, which was kind of weird, I know. So, yeah, I tr looked at many sites and they did not have them. So, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, so yeah, same here. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, now, would this work perfectly for the 14th century style plate armor like this? Yes, this would work for the 14th century. And as well, sometimes uh, up to the 15th century, some say. However, if we know from history, by the time of the 15th century, open visored bassinets were becoming a thing of the past, and they were starting to go more for closed visored. Or, if they could actually not afford that, they would actually go with something like from Kingdom Come Deliverance, like this, which does actually make sense because it's that long nose design, or sometimes that's exposing the eye eye sockets, which is really a cool thing. So, yeah, these do actually work incredibly well. Now, uh, without this leather cord, though, what would happen is this probably might just be hanging right below my neck, like about this low, which, yeah, not the best idea. So, I just lifted it up a little bit. So, that's all I had to do. That's about it. So, cheap and effective, and yes, the price was incredibly great. It was like somewhere around 80, 90 bucks. I want to say 80, I want to say 80, near between 80 and 85, I believe it was. I can't remember, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I mostly found this on Cult of Athena. I don't know if there are any other sites that are selling them, but I will leave links down below for y'all. If you want more information, I will also leave links down below. And there's more, also more description down below. And as well, we also leave our uh, Facebook page for any of y'all to actually look at more stuff that which we put out there. But... Yes, this is a great helmet for y'all to do for, say, the Battle of Bannockburn, the Battle of Agincourt, or as well, even the Welsh Rebellions, and as well, even the Hundred Years' War and all that. And as well, the Battle of Visby, or Wisby, depending on how you pronounce it and your cultural region. But yeah, this was incredibly badass of a helmet, and I just love the design. In fact, you gotta admit, male with the bassinet always looks badass. Come on. Everyone knows that this looks cool. Well, not as cool as the as the Vindal style helmets uh, in history, which you gotta admit those are a lot more badass looking. Anyways, guys, hopefully you liked this video. Like and subscribe. Also, click that bell button for notifications as soon as our next video comes up. And as well, guys, hopefully we can reach a thousand subscribers very soon because we're actually going to be starting a new series, hopefully this year. So yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully see you all in the next one, and stay tuned for more, and see you later, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm.